up everybody, it's Peace Out, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna be uh, doing some mainstays building. So I got a writing desk here, and I've got a three shelf bookcase. Uh, the bookcase looks easier. I only have an hour and a half, so, hmm. I'm gonna start with the writing desk. But yeah, really cool. Look at that, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't know why I have this box cutter when it's just an open by hand. Attention, hardware attached to end of ribbon. Oh, you know what, I lied. This glue is uh, very strong. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Sabrina, you're here to help me. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Of course, of course there's extra tape to give me a hard time. That's only natural. Okay, finally. We got one end open. Oh, that must be the ribbon that it's talking about. Uh, did it say to open it a certain way? That would be really funny. Nope. All right, either way. Okay. Yeah, I wonder what's in here, Sabrina. Let's go ahead and take it out. This is the ribbon that they were talking about. Cool. Good stuff. All right, let's see if there's anything else in this box. Does not seem to be. Okay. Let's get rid of this excess cardboard. Right, Sabrina? Right, we're going to get rid of the excess cardboard. We don't need this. What's this for? We don't know. It's not ours anymore. Bye bye. Okay. Now you have fun with this box, okay? Okay, baby. Ah, uh, let's take a look at this instruction manual. Okay, so what we'll need is a Phelps screwdriver and a hammer. <laughs> Good thing I have my trusty, dusty toolbox. Phelps screwdriver. And we gotta bust out the hammer. Let's go ahead and get that hammer. And here is our hammer. Nice. I'm just going to identify the parts real quick. Hopefully they're labeled. Okay, so this is J. Perfect. This one is M. All right. K. Uh, L must be this big top one. Yep, that one's L. All right. We're gonna need an N and an O. O and N. All right. And then P and Q are the last two. P and Q. All right, looks like we have all the actual um, big pieces. Next up, these little things. I'm pretty sure we have everything. Need three of those. Three of these, got it. 
Nine wooden dowels. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's only six. Oh, it's number nine. <laughs> Oops. All right, so I got those. 21 screw covers. That's these boys. I'm not counting that. Tech Glide. Six of them. Got them. And then screws. 21 screws. That's a lot of screws. All right, cool. All right, hidden cam. Teaching you how to assemble those. I already know how because I've been building stuff lately. All right, so step number one, assemble your unit on a carpeted floor or on an empty carton to avoid scratching your unit or the floor. All right, so make sure that you're very careful. I'm on my hardwood floor right now, so no sliding and grinding. Very gentle stuff. Smooth. Okay, so. Um, doo -doo -doo. Starting off with L. And we're going to put the three cam screws in. So we're going to take these pieces off to the side. This is letter L. And we're going to go ahead and take our three cam screws from inside here. Isn't that right, Sabrina? <laughs> You're barely on camera, girl. All right. So there's the center line, and I'm going to be putting it in place on all three of those with the screwdriver. So first step is to take your three cam screws, go ahead and screw them in. There we go. There's the first one. And just so that you guys can see, they look like this. This is what's going to hold it uh, together, essentially. All right. Yeah, I know, Sabrina. Isn't it cool? Number two and... Number three. All right, first step complete. Time to turn on the fan because I am boiling in here. All right. Second step. We're gonna use two of our dowels on the letter J. So we're gonna gently remove these, put these over here so that they don't scratch our floor and we don't scratch them. Okay, just like that. Don't worry, Sabrina. <coughs> uh, J, you're looking for letter J, this is K. M, and of course, the final one all the way at the bottom is the one I'm looking for, the letter J. Excellent. So uh, we've got our little dowel thing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our number seven, which is this little metal piece that's gonna hold on to um, uh, those end pieces. Just gonna open that up. So you're going to put this into the little hole and what it's going to do is grab onto the little piece that I showed you before and it's going to keep it together in one piece. So you put it in the hole such that the gap is at the top. There's also a little arrow showing you exactly where it should be and then you just insert it gently like that and then you're, you're good to go with that one. Now, time for the two wooden dowel, or not dowels, uh, what are these called? Yeah, dowels. The two wooden dowels are next. So we're gonna go ahead and get two of those out. So there's one and there's number two. So we're gonna put those at the top of our guy over here. One and two, perfect. Falls right into place. We're going to do something similar with M as well, and K actually. So all three of them need the exact same treatment. So let's do it in order. We need the letter M, so that's right here. We're gonna take M and we're gonna do the same thing that we did. Uh, take one of these um, hidden cams and place it inside the hole with the arrow facing towards the end where we're going to insert the uh, cam screw. And then we're gonna take two of the dowels. And we're going to place them 
exactly as we did before inside the holes just like that. And then we're going to do this for the final piece, K, as well. But let me just show you a close-up. So you just put that in the hole, and then you put the two dowels. All right, final piece. K. All right, same thing. There's a hole right here, and then two holes at the top. So we're going to gently put that down. We're going to complete that portion. That's basically all of those uh, specific parts. So we are completely done with that portion of this assembly. I thought this was gonna actually take a lot longer, but uh, I should be done with this pretty soon, actually. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna put our little metal piece in there, and then we're going to put our two little wooden pieces in to follow. All right, and that is step one, we are done. Step number two, fasten the right end, J, and upright M to the shelf N and bottom O using the uh, eight um, nine sixteenths flathead screws. All right, so we're gonna use eight screws to assemble those two pieces together, which is fine. So we're gonna open up our screw section just going to put a screwdriver through there and then pull slightly to open up a gap for myself. Now I'm going to take all the screws that I will need, which is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> Hey, you like those, Sabrina? <laughs> I wonder if she'll touch it. All right, so we're going to assemble J and M together with O and N. So O and N are right here. O is gonna be on the bottom with the unfinished surface. So that is this one right here. Oh, excellent. Um. The hole is going to be at the top. So we've got the hole for the backing at the top. We're going to place this right here. I doubt this is gonna stay up. Oh my gosh, and I got the fan blowing. Um, N is the next piece. Um, N does not have a hole, so N can be reversible. That's fine. All right, and then finally, we're going to bring J and M together. So, J I believe was the first one that we did. Yeah, this is K. So we're going to take J and M. All right, so this is our letter M. So that goes to the right. And then our letter J is on the left. So I'm gonna take that and put it towards the left. So, uh, just to confirm, the two holes need to be right here, and then these two holes need to be right there, and we are good to go. So I'm going to start the screwing process. <laughs> Don't clip that. Um, all right, so first up, let's go ahead and just take this like so. Start the process putting this screw in through this hole and this screw in through this hole right here. Now from there, we're going to line up to make sure that we're properly getting in the location that we need. All right, we are in. So from this position, we're going to screw. All right, it should go in nice and smooth and not give you much resistance. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way right away. Just wanna make sure that it's aligned properly and it's straight. I don't wanna have to redo this or damage the product and have to go back to Walmart to get my signature mainstays items. All right, approaching the end 
and we're just gonna make it right where you can almost um, not be able to detect it, but it's still a little bit raised. I don't wanna tighten it too much. They do have caps that I will be putting on later. Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna just in layer like that. All right, so that's the first side. Um, the first little panel, we're gonna attach the letter O now. So same thing, you're gonna need uh, two screws. So we're gonna grab two screws and then we're gonna go ahead and place them inside our um, uh, letter J. Okay, so that goes down here in the same position as the other ones. Uh, I'm a little bit off camera. <laughs> All right, but we're putting them at the bottom of J now. Uh, there's the two evenly spaced holes. There's two other holes down towards the bottom, uh, but we're not touching those right now. It's just the, uh, the two other holes that are in line with the middle holes. You do have to end up using logic for uh, some of these builds, but I mean, we're logical, right? That's why we're here. Subscribe. All right, so we're gonna put these into the two holes and then what are we gonna do? We're gonna screw, woohoo! All right, let's go ahead and line that up and begin the screwing. Oh, come on, buddy. Make sure you're lined up before you start tightening, okay? All right, I, uh, I overestimated myself. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, this is a little bit more difficult than I thought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line it up like this and start the first one. See, I'm doing this so you guys don't have to. So line up the first one and start it. Then you can line up the second one. The, uh, the first, uh, first panel was way easier for some reason. But now that we are in both holes, make sure you're setting up straight. Once it's started on both, then you can bring it down to the ground level and actually use, um, Use the rest to screw the rest in. Um, let me get on screen for you guys. Okay, just like that. There we go. Now you can see more as I block with this panel that needs to go down here. All right, so commence the screwing. Okay, not going all the way in yet, just yet. Just wanna make sure that it goes in easy and everything is lined up. Just an extra precaution that I like to take from years of building these freaking things. All right, not too tight. You don't want to damage the structure. It will hold itself and it won't wobble. Um, you just gotta trust the process. All right, so that's that first portion. Now the next portion is the exact same thing on the other side. This will be significantly easier. Uh, we're just gonna put this upside down like this. And then we're going to place this exactly how it appears in the picture, right on top. Now we're going to use our four screws and we're going to complete this portion of it. All right, so go ahead and line that up. Put that first screw in there. We are in. Second screw. All right, and it fell right into place. So we can commence the screwing. I don't feel like that's going anywhere. And it's not. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, all right, because it's not lined up at all. All right, okay, I understand, guys. This is, uh, once again, not as easy as I had assumed prior. <sighs> 
Yeah. Oh, my one advice to you guys, never get old, ever. Please, you do not want this. Go. Go. Come on. Where is that hole? Oh, there it is. Maybe not, maybe not. Technical difficulties here, technical difficulties. <laughs> it's just not lining up right. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick them through and then I'm gonna have to see around the corner to make sure both of them are engaging the holes. All right, that is the first hole and that is the second hole. All right, I'm glad that I did that for you guys. So now you know how to line these up. <laughs> All right, have some wood shavings now because I've been screwing it so much. Okay, and then let's bring this one down as well. Come on. All right, finally, we can just finish this one off. Tighten it a little bit. There we go. Final two screws for this portion. And then we can move on to the next step. Oh, what a relief, guys. Oh my gosh, we are 22 minutes in. No one's gonna watch this, but it's okay. Subscribe. Oh, Sabrina, you're gonna chew on this freaking, uh, Freaking ribbon, please don't. Sabrina, you cannot take that. <laughs> That's mine, I need that. Sabrina, do not eat that fucking uh, freaking ribbon. Do not, I mean it. I will be pissed. You know what happens when you eat ribbon. You throw up. Hey, Sabrina. No. Sabrina. No. Sabrina, do not test me. Cats, am I right? <clears throat> All right, so so you tighten that one down, and then the other one you complete it as well. Come on, buddy, come on, Sabrina. No, I'm right here. I can see you. You cannot eat that ribbon. My cats, both of them. Whenever they get any ribbon, I hate ribbon in this house for that reason. Whenever they get access to any ribbon, they literally will chew it and bite it off for some strange reason. <sighs> and then they will swallow it and then it does not go well in their stomach. And then they throw up a bunch of bile and the ribbon on the, on the floor. And then guess who has to clean it up? <sighs> Me. All right, so finally, this portion of the assembly is complete. Next step. Oh, it looks like the wind changed the page. And by wind, I mean my fan. All right, so. Step number three, let's move on. Okay, next portion, we're going to fasten the molding P to the right end J and upright M. Use four of those screws. Then fasten the skirt Q to the right end of J, upright M and bottom O using five screws. So this step is gonna use nine screws, nice. All right, so let's get started. We'll start with P as they mentioned. So we're gonna go ahead and grab P. This is P right here. So we're gonna take P and we are going to long finished edge. All right, so this is the long finished edge P. And we have our two 
holes right here. Now we need our four screws for that portion. So let's go ahead and open that up and get our four screws. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now from there, we can actually begin to assemble. So we have our J like so. This desk is weird. Huh. Okay, I understand. So this actually lines up like this. It goes through J and attaches to M. So we, uh, we'll start that right in there. And then our next one will go into the upper echelons. All right, so let's get those in. Uh-oh, Army has awakened. Don't hurt me, boy. I'm just trying to build a desk. Please, sir, please. You know what? This angle is terrible, and I'm going to move to the other side like I should have done from the beginning. Much better. Screw, 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 screw. Oh my gosh. All right, be careful when you're screwing. You don't want to have any damage or injuries, any bodily harm. <clears throat> All right, so those are in nice and snug. So the next portion is to screw them into uh, the actual M piece. Yeah, M. So we're gonna line those up and then make sure that we have access to the hole. We do. So we can begin the screwing process. Oh, don't damage my floor, buddy. Don't damage my floor. Don't do it. All right, before we tighten that all the way in, we want to make sure that we're lined up properly. Because uh, if you're already tight on one of the pieces, you're not going to be able to adjust it such that you're lining up with the hole. I don't know if I already explained that, but that's the explanation for why you don't tighten everything down right away. You just have to make sure that everything is properly lined up for the least amount of damage and the most in, uh, structural integrity. Basically meaning that uh, your uh, whatever you're building is going to stay how it's supposed to be. All right, so that was uh, P, and now we do Q, which is right here. Almost done. We're in the home stretch, guys. Whew. All right. So for this one, we've got the hole and then the two circles. And this is going to go right here. And then this lines up with O. Um which is the bottom panel. So we're gonna need five screws for this portion. Nice. Let me move this on camera a little bit more. This right over here. There we go. Perfect. So we're gonna need five screws. One, two, three, four, and five. So our first step is to line it up properly. place right in there. We're going to just start that real quick. And I know this angle is bad, but I just want to start it um, so I can line up the hole that goes into the O piece. All right, that is in. Now the second screw needs to go into this hole and we are already lined up. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start the twisting process for that. All right, we are engaged. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that our screw goes directly into O from the back end. So we're going to screw right into the back end, just like that. All right, now 
there's two others that go into M and I don't want to tighten the one into O all the way in case I need a little bit of mobility. So we're going to go ahead and line those up and put those in, make sure that they go into their proper designated holes. All right, we're already in, I believe. Let me just make sure it should be very easy. Hey, Sabrina. Gotcha. What's up, baby girl? Yes, I'm building something. <clears throat> Butt pads for you. Intermission. Hey, Army, what's up, buddy? Aw, uh, Army doesn't want to go on camera. He ran past the front and uh, went downstairs. All right. Um, oh, you like the desk, Sabrina? Good. I hope everyone likes it. <sighs> you know, I always liked building these stupid things. <laughs> it's just timing is everything. Sometimes I'm busy and I got a bunch of things going on and I do not want to have something thrown on to me to build, but uh, generally... These things are really cool. In another life, I'm the one that designs these. But I have a satisfying job already. Ooh, and my other YouTube channel is already monetized, which is really nice. Check me out over there on PsyYGO. Really cool stuff. Oh, Sabrina. I haven't built you a cat house in a while. Maybe I should get one of those for you. These are already uh, structurally in line with themselves, so you can, you could tighten them right away, but it's just a habit that I have that I, um, when I've got two screws that are in line, I don't tighten them all the way until um, they're pretty close. Sabrina, no! Bad. Um, all right, so that step is done. All right, next step is number four. So we're going to fasten the left end K to the molding P and skirt Q using four screws. All right, so that is the, uh, the K portion, which should be this other panel, if I recall correctly, and it is. So this is the other side of it. Um, this will go directly on to that portion. So what I'm going to do for this actually is turn it this way and then avoid that portion. All right. This should theoretically make it easier, but I might have just made it harder. Oh, wow. This is the exact amount of screws that I need. All right. So we're going to use the rest of the four screws that are remaining in the package. We're going to go ahead and, uh, the dowels go that way and these face inward. All right. So. Uh, this part faces inward, so we're going to go ahead and place this on top of here for balance. We're going to grab my screwdriver that I forgot. Now we're going to screw! All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this through the hole and then put, you know what, we're just going to put all four through the hole. That will make my life easier in the long run. Then I can line up right away with the four holes that are in position and we can start to screw. All right, so we're gonna come in from an angle because so, it's easier to see. Come on, buddy. All righty. Get those in there and those in there. Oh, come on. All right, those in there and bam and bam. All right. Now we're gonna to wanna to start these. Come on, get in there. All right, next one. Get in there. Now be careful, if you're doing it this way, they probably want you to do it on the floor uh, because if you like let this go right now, then this thin piece of uh, plywood or whatever they used is gonna break off. So you gotta hold it up until you tighten it completely. Uh, because you don't want to harm the structural integrity. You're going to be putting a torque, um, an angular torque, on the wood piece, and it's not going to be able to sustain itself because it's only like, like three quarters of a centimeter thick. And I'm pretty sure that with the weight of this board, it would just rip through unless it's taut. 
because that actually spreads out the force that it's experiencing. All right, so that one is in, and let's tighten this one as well. All right, should be pretty stable, but I'm gonna hold it up just for good measure. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten these two guys. Excellent, excellent. It's all coming together. All right, 542. I gotta go to locals. Good thing I built my deck last night. All right, so that portion is done. Uh, next up, we need to put in the little six stopper things at the bottom with the nails coming out of them. Uh, I don't even call these anything. Use your hammer. Oh, yeah, tack glides. All right, so we have to hammer the tack glides into the uh, proper position to prevent damage on our floor. Uh, so I think, um, unfortunately, those wooden dowels are there. Um, so I'm just going to have to hammer it in the air, which is super unfortunate for me. But, alas, it is fine. Um, all right, so just anywhere. Oh, yeah, let me show you. These are basically just tacks. Uh, of course. There's a nail that comes out of this. Anyway. Oh, you found a little house, Sabrina. Uh, maybe I should put this down. Yeah, I'm going to put this down. Uh, so that it's like the picture. All right, Sabrina. Sorry, buddy. Uh, very gently. You don't want to damage the floor. And then we're going to nail these six down to the bottom. Do not smash your hand. Actually, I don't know how you're not supposed to smash your hand. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, I need a better angle. How high do they want them? I guess this is probably the stable point. All right, we're gonna gently hammer that in. All right, that's number one. Number two, put you down here. you in there and then I'm not satisfied with that so I actually get to use what the what the hammer is used for and pull this piece out which is awesome all right time for a redo hmm how do I get this straight gotta put it dead center Excellent, just like that. It might take some uh, some practice. But you should be able to get it. Straighten it out. And then bring it home. Excellent. All right, four more of those suckers. Um, all right, unfortunate. Maybe I can push this in a little bit to start it. Yeah, just a little bit. Actually, that's much better than risking my hand. Because I'm going to need this. Oh, I hear why Army went downstairs. He's using the bathroom. Sorry, this part's boring. Don't want to hit my hand. All right, for these final two, let me switch up the angle so that you guys can see a little bit better. Oops. Okay, the last two pieces. First one, push that in like so. <clears throat> and 
it's not working for me, so we're going to have to tap it to get it started. All right, now we can finish it off. And then final piece is right here. Wow, now Army is curious as well. Excellent. That was harder than it needed to be. Um, all right. Step numero cinco. Oh, man, I got some cardboard on me. All right. Step number five. Let's, let's get it. Carefully stand your unit upright. Fasten top L to ends J and K, and then tighten the three hidden cams. Be sure the wooden dowels in the ends upright insert into the top. All right, seems pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and bring up our guy. Oh, don't be scared, Army. Uh. Now we're gonna line up these three guys and we're gonna go right in there. Right in here. and then everything should line up perfectly. All right, perfect. Now we just need to tighten those three um, hidden cams. I'm gonna throw this in the garbage real quick. Yep. Okay, bring this in. Get down to the flow. And it'll tighten that one. Huh, that one didn't go. Oh, you need to hammer it in first. Okay, that makes sense. And then that locks it in. All right, so I need to undo this one. Oh wait, no, it was still lined up. All right, it's fine. All right, ow. Okay, perfect, perfect. Go ahead and lock that into place. So that will come off and then lock this into place. So now if I lift the top portion, it won't just come off. I can actually lift the desk by this. All right, in the instructions, it actually says the weight rating. So the top can hold 40 pounds. The first shelf can hold 15 and the second shelf can hold 25. So now it's time finally to cover the um, the little screw holes with the screw covers. Excellent. So, final portion for the first thing. Am I gonna have time for the second one? I doubt it. How long did this take? 43 minutes? Maybe. I could probably do it. Maybe I'll do it in a, a separate video. Or maybe I just won't do it on video. Maybe I'll just do that one for me and the cats. All right, so uh, finally the screw covers are these little tiny tabs with a little tiny thing in the screw. So we're just gonna place them on top of the screw and press in. These things are so annoying, they fall out all the time. Uh, whenever I've built these things, I haven't built one of these in a while, but like these uh, mainstays is obviously from Walmart, so it's gonna be cheap. But um, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Sometimes you need something right away um, for utilization purposes and you just go out and you get it. And then good game, GG. All right. So we're just gonna put those on every single one of the screws and then we're done with this one. See how they stay right in there? Now it's important that you are not screwing these improperly because if you like strip it, then these little stoppers won't stay and it's gonna look ugly. So like it's all gonna, oh, you can't even see from down there. All right, let me lift this up a little bit. Um, so you can see these two screws here? No, you can't. Because if I lift it any higher, it's gonna just go off there. All right, improvising. There we go. Yeah, so see how they're exposed? We're gonna cover that up. And now 
it looks cleaner. And then final one on this side, right here. Okay, we got a bunch left. We're gonna go ahead and cover up all of them. A couple over inside here. Okay, two more. more I'm sure on the back we are covering every single whole water leaf all 21 screws all right buddy just get in there all right final four Oh wow, I love this. It's exactly the amount. Usually they give you extra and I hate that. Or this is the one legendary pack that um, they put the extra for because one was just lost in transit or something. That'd be funny too, to think about. But yeah, maybe they're wasting too much money on uh, printing little extra tabs. Although these things are probably like almost nothing to manufacture. Anyway, good game guys. This is the desk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video is already way too long. I'm gonna stop it here. But subscribe for more. Uh -huh.